So Allah says, you have to suffer a loss. Sometimes in business, you're a multi-millionaire, but one day the whole business burns down. Thank Allah. Oh Allah, for 40 years, I afforded everything. Today, you took my whole business away. Help me so that when I start afresh tonight, it will grow bigger than what it was yesterday before it was burnt. Is that your condition? If it is, Allah says, you've just passed your test with flying colors. And you know what? We replenish what we took from you beyond what you had. That's Allah. It's not easy. It's not easy. Ask those who lose a hundred pounds. They have a sleepless night. Depending on how much you have, obviously. But ask those who've lost something. They really are struggling. I lost this guy actually stole three grand from me. Yes, you can pursue it. You can achieve justice, but don't become depressed because of that. Trust Allah. Allah knows he planned it for you before you were born. He knew it was going to come in your direction. He just wants to watch. What's your reaction and what are you going to do? That's Allah. So Allah promises you in Surah Al-Baqarah, the beginning of the Quran, it's a second Surah. And Allah says, We're going to test every single one of you with these things. Your examination questions are already told to you. It's going to happen to you. You're going to get sick someday. Anyway, Allah says, Naqsim min al-amwal. Loss. Loss in terms of wealth. Well, anfus. Loss in terms of life. Allah says, someone's going to die around you whom you love. It has to happen. Or you're going to die. Subhanallah. Have you lost a loved one? Many will say, yes. How does it feel? It was the most difficult thing. I tell you when you've lost a child. That's probably one of the most difficult, difficult times of your life. Something that is very challenging, extremely difficult. Allah knows. Allah knows. A few days ago, I was sitting at someone's house who lost a child. They had a child after a long time. And then when the child was about a month old, perhaps 29 days old on the day of Eid, the child suddenly stopped breathing and passed away within five minutes. Sitting with them, do you know what I said? I said, the reason why I know that Allah loves you is because he chooses those whom he wants to go through bigger challenges and bigger tests. And he chose Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to go through exactly what you guys have just gone through. Some of those who are close to Allah would actually look at you and say, I wish this happened to me. Allahu Akbar. Sounds silly, right? The reason would be if it happened to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and now it's happening to you. Allah chose him. Allah's choosing you. It's going to require a huge bag of patience. And Allah chooses you to engage in that act of worship. Patience is an act of worship that Allah chooses you to go to engage in to whatever degree he loves you. And I'm going to prove that to you with the rest of this verse that I was reading. So may Allah make it easy. You've lost a child. One of the most difficult things, but you've lost a parent. It's also extremely difficult. Let me explain. If you've lost a parent and you're an orphan, Allah loves you more than Allah loves the others. The simple reason he did it for Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Again, look at how you've been chosen for the same tests. 